So today I'm gonna to show you how to use these simple tools so you can have a spooling station at your house and save money. Let's get right into it. So with these tools that I bought on Amazon that aren't super expensive, I'm now able to take higher count spools and split them up on reels evenly without worrying about cutting one short. How many times have you bought a thousand yard spool and you're spooling up all your trolling rods and you think, okay, I got uh, four trolling rods, so I need about 200 yards on each. And then you get to that last rod and now you don't have enough line for it. This is gonna eliminate that problem and make it super simple without having a big machine to spool up your stuff uh, that costs over, you know, four or 500 bucks. All right, so this is the stuff that I've got here. I have a uh, Trilene XT uh, 10 pound test low vis green spool line. This has got 300 yards on it. So this I bought on Amazon, I think it was maybe 20 bucks. And this is a spool clamp. So what you do is you uh, loosen these little wing nuts and then you can clamp your spool in here to get the right tension. And then this just mounts right here to my granite countertop. It's a suction cup and it has a little lever, but also it came with a table clamp. So if you don't have something smooth like my granite countertop, you can use a table clamp for this. The next thing you're gonna need, uh, this is a Rapala digital line counter, but you could also just buy like an analog counter or something a little less expensive. These just came out and I think they're really nice for accuracy. They mount on any rod and they're super easy to set up. I'll show you how to do that in just a second, but I think you can typically get these for $30, uh, but $40 maybe is the retail price. So just look for a sale, but I think I got mine for 30. And then of course we have a line counting reel. I'm spooling up today some of my trolling rods that I'm gonna be using for planer boards and long lining. So this is a size 20 line counter trolling reel. And last but not least, we'll be spooling up the TFO Professional Walleye casting rod in seven foot medium. I like to use these seven foot mediums uh, for most of my trolling purposes. They make it easier to switch out rods when you catch fish and just all around a much better setup for a boat in tight spaces uh, working with multiple rods. All right, so basically what I'm gonna do here is get us all set up. So we are going to take the spool clamp and I'm literally just going to clamp it down onto the, the countertop here. And then I'm gonna take the wing nut, I'm gonna slide off these three parts. So it's a spring, a clamp, and then uh, like a funnel. I'm gonna slide off these three parts. We got a spring, we have the back clamp, and then we have the front clamp. And then I'm gonna cut into my line here. All right, perfect. So nothing too fancy about how this goes on here but I'm gonna be spooling from this side. And if you think about how you want line to go on your reel, you want it to go on like an old videotape. And you may not be old enough to know, but an old videotape essentially would turn and then the other spool would turn and it would just reel right onto the other. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that the line is coming off the top of this, going over and not coming off backwards. So we're gonna have it come off the top and towards us. So here's the line end and it spools out like that. That's exactly how we want it when we're spooling on this side. So I'm just gonna take this, press it through, try to get rid of some of this logo here since it's sticky. And that's about it. So you're gonna slide that on, put on your little uh, clamp, put on the spring and then put on the back clamp. And then you just wanna provide a little bit of tension. I just take my finger and kind of turn it. You don't need anything too crazy here, but I would say that tension's about good. You don't want it to spin super freely, but you just wanna give yourself the, the chance for it to spin a little bit. So now that's set up. All right, so now on to the rod and reel side of things. So I'm just gonna get my reel out here. Again, like I said, this is a size 20 reel. It's a Cabela's uh, trolling reel. I think these retail for about 50 bucks. Um, these are gonna fit perfect on my little casting rods. So I'm sure you're currently wondering, well, why if there's a line counter on this, do I not just use the line counter? Well, the specific reason that you don't is because the line counter really works best and most accurate uh, at the max spool position. So when you start to reel this in on a blank spool, it's not gonna calculate right. So you'd have no idea how much actual yardage or footage you have until you get the spool full. 
Um, so what I'm doing is eliminating any error and just using one that is just calculating the line through and not actually in the line spooled. So that's why we use um, this setup. And now what I wanna do is I'm going to mount this Rapala line counter to the rod that I'm spooling up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. She's got this like little band on it, makes it super easy to just clamp over. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Just stretch it, clamp it on there. And you wanna have this little wheel facing up. So once that wheel's facing up, you can go ahead and power on the unit and then you get your digital readout. So I have everything set up right here. I'm gonna take the tag end of my line and I'm gonna slide it through the top of the line counter reel and I'm just gonna tie my basic slip overhand knot. Okay, so now what I wanna do is kinda of take up some of this slack in the line. So I'm just gonna twist back the trilene spool and get it kinda of tight here. All right. So once you have kind of a tight connection there, basically you grab the rod and now I wanna connect the Rapala. So how this thing works is it has this little clamp right here. Just gonna slide your line basically around the top of this red circle and underneath the two clips on both sides. So that is basically the setup right there. Now this thing is engaged and ready to go. All I have to do is reset the counter to zero and then engage the drag. I'll take off the clicker and we are off to the races. So to show you, we're at 5.3 feet right now. The counter on here says zero. If I start to reel this in five feet, it says that I've already gone five feet on the depth counter, but it's only two-ish feet on the Rapala. That is why we don't use the depth counter on the reel. And then basically what we're gonna do is just continue to reel this in. So half of a 300 yard spool is 150 yards. Easy, right? But we're talking feet here. So we wanna multiply that by three. We're getting about 450 feet for half a spool of 300 yard line. The kicker here is I'm actually going to spool this entire thing on this trolling reel. But the other advantage is I can compare how much line I put on this reel with the other 300 yard spools. These companies aren't perfect. They're usually within a 10% overage of what the yardage is. All right, so we are about 826 feet. We're gonna just wanna finish this out. We've got about 100 feet left. We're gonna see how close we get to 925 was the last spool I did. All right, 900. And I see the line is about to run out, but I think we're gonna have a little over 925 on this spool. So what I'm gonna do, oh, there it stopped right there. 917, so the last one was 925. This one, 917. So the last one was 925, this one's 917. That's within about a six foot difference. So there's almost the exact same line on this one as there is on my other reel, and now I know that they're fairly close. All right, so as you can see, we are super accurate with this Rapala line counter as we're spooling up our casting or trolling rods. What's so nice about this is if you're fishing for walleye and you have them at a certain depth, you know exactly how far to set back and they'll be similar across all your rods and you can keep catching fish. So I love these line counters. Again, you can pick them up on Amazon for about 30 bucks, sometimes 40, but don't limit yourself to just spooling line with this line counter. You can put this on a rod and judge an eight foot depth for a slip bobber if you need to. You can put this on all of your long lines if they don't even have counters. You can use this to find the zone where the fish are biting and, and use it to your advantage. It's not just a line spooler. Um, I love it. I found it to be super accurate and I think you could use it in multiple situations. Um, so that's about it guys. If you wanna find any of the products that we have here, uh, you can find them down below in the description. And then especially you can find this TFO 
professional walleye casting rod. This is a seven foot medium. I love these rods for being able to quickly switch them out on my boat in multiple areas. They work really well for catching walleyes or any sort of fish that you're targeting. Um, it is just an incredible uh, looking and feeling casting rod that I've been using for trolling. And then if you wanna go a little bit bigger, you can also find their 10 foot two piece or their eight foot six telescoping rods on their website. These guys retail for about a hundred bucks. And then those two piece and telescoping rods are about $119.99. So check those out on TFO and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't miss out on our next subscriber giveaway at 10,000 for this TFO Tactical Elite Bass Combo. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and also click the bell icon to receive notifications when I post. As always, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, click the like button below. If you have suggestions of videos you wanna see in the future, go ahead and leave a comment and we'll see you in the next one. Now enjoy these fish.